Taking a trip down memory lane today, some football history, going back to the first person in your family to ever put on the pads and play football, your mom's dad. Tell me about your grandpa. Bob Nowoski played for the Chicago Bears, was on two championship teams playing for Papa Bear Hallis. Back in the days, no face mask, leather helmets, played both ways, real Iron Man football. That was 1940 to 1942 that he was with the Chicago Bears, but things looked a little bit different for the Bears back then, didn't they? They did not play in Soldier Field. They played in historic Wrigley Field. There's probably even a lot of people that don't know that the Bears played in, in Wrigley Field and the amount of games that they played there. We as Cubs fans, having grown up here, like to talk about it as the friendly confines, but if you were an opponent of the Chicago Bears, it was more like the unfriendly confines because their record was 221 and 89 in Wrigley. Uh, so they had a, a definite home field advantage. When you were coaching in the NFL for the Bills, you played at the Bears and the Bears actually left you in your coach's locker a folder of photos from back in the day when your grandpa was playing. So we're gonna take a look. Walk me through what we're looking at here. That uh, guy squatting down in the black suit, that's uh, Papa Bear Hallis. That's my grandfather right there, uh, Bob Nowoski, number 20. The kid is actually Coach Hunk Anderson's son, George Musso, I think is this guy's name, and he was a guard and he wore number 16. When you look at this, what legacy do you see? The start of our football family, my football family, growing up in this area, being a Bears fan, being a Cubs fan, knowing that uh, my grandfather played games right where I'm standing. Coached by George Hallis, that means a lot because the game of football is so special, but to get an opportunity to play in a venue like that, that is something that you're going to be able to talk about for a lifetime.